ARI trains individuals to transform rural communities. Participants in the program are selected by ascending organization in their home countries. As representatives of their organizations and communities, participants become confident, skillful, and adaptable agents of social development. The organizations can then amplify their skills through community projects. Here's how the impact of ARI's training flows from individuals through their sending organizations to their communities. First, at ARI, participants undergo a personal transformation and gain new knowledge, values, and skills, becoming people who realize they can be powerful resources themselves. The training experience becomes a lifelong basis for personal growth and empowerment. Next, the sending organization's capacities expand through the participant's new perspective. In particular, it can develop new programs and strategies to serve the community with a clear plan. Finally, the organizations can better serve their communities by helping them recognize and utilize the resources they already have. This might affect families, farms, schools, religious institutions, hospitals, and even the wider populace on a district, state, or national level. ARI is guided by three principles that encourage change for program participants. Servant leadership, sustainable agriculture, and community building. Each of these provide an example of how the training at ARI transforms people, organizations, and communities. First, participants learn that servant leadership is leading while prioritizing others' needs above one's own. Through servant leadership, participants transform personally. With a fresh perspective, participants see community members as valuable agents for change rather than beneficiaries of development or aid. At an organizational level, servant leaders encourage participation in projects from as many community members as possible, engendering greater support from stakeholders. Consequently, a community can adopt a stronger sense of self-determination, which fosters the improvement of livelihoods long-term. Another emphasis of ARI curriculum is learning the principles and practices of sustainable agriculture. Promoting personal transformation, ARI emphasizes the cyclical nature of growing, harvesting, cooking, consuming, and then using food waste as part of the next growing cycle through composting and animal feed. This personal education will also help organizations to be more holistic in planning because it emphasizes sustainable systems and management of a farm and household to ensure a balanced diet will bring better health and life for individuals and the environment. After personal and organizational transformation, communities themselves will be transformed because projects can empower eaters' minds and bodies, which brings more creativity for the development of a community, generates income, and promotes food sovereignty. The final example in ARI curriculum is community building, through which participants learn diversity and gender equality as coalition strategies. In all aspects of life at ARI, both men and women experience hands-on leadership. This promotes personal transformation by ensuring that everybody has decision-making power, which produces self-assurance. When participants return to their home organizations with a greater respect for diversity and gender equality, they are more likely to find strength, in diversity and equal participation of all sexes, ages, and cultures. Diverse and equal leadership within organizations can shift attitudes and norms in the wider community. Different community members, including women and minority people, can feel more confident about being a voice for their own interests.